Everybody, how you doing? How you doing? Okay, so we are going to, I'm going to show a few little tips and tricks on a few things that are, that kind of go with our um, <clears throat> new, our, our mixed media canvas for beginners. Well, I'm all tripped out here. Let me see. It's so weird because it's opposite and they say opposites attract. Okay. Um, so I'm going to try a few things here. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show you is, let me just get this. I know this is a lot of fun. You would think I would do these things before I start things, but do I? No, I don't. Okay. First is somebody asked about this stamp. And I got it uh, on sale, on clearance at, I'd have to ask my daughter, I think it was AC Moore, on clearance. Um, you know, I love me some clearance stuff. So what I'm going to do, this is called Let's Experimente, or in your language, Let's Experiment, because I love making um, stamps out of Fun foam, you know, is it fun foam, foam, kids foam, you know. So we're going to heat this up with my heat gun. We're going to get it nice and warm. If you have a hair dryer, use your hair dryer on its highest setting. And just make sure you get it. You're going to get a few little fumes off that. Don't worry about it. Concentrate more in the middle where you know you need that imprint and that heat. I love doing this kind of stuff. Right. So you want to be quick doing this to make sure you have your stamp already chosen. All right. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to put it down. Here's me going quick. I got my stamp. I'm going to put it down. And I'm going to push. And I'm going to stand up and push. And you know I got me some butt behind me. I'm pushing. Now, if you were smart, if I was smart, <laughs> I would probably put it, but, 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 well, I cannot speak today. I would put a mouse pad underneath of this to give you a little bit of cushion, you know, pushing, cushion for the pushing kind of thing. But I'm just going to keep pressing. I'll get up again, put one hand here, one here, and press. And if you can do it without having anything move, push it from underneath. You want it all. It's a detailed stamp. Let's lift. Let's look. It's white. I know. Okay. So that's one. I'm going to put a little, little uh, ink on here. We're going to stamp it and see how that comes out. Okay. Now, this is the thicker fun foam. They also have thinner fun foam. Um, I don't know that it would make much difference. However, this is a piece of the thin foam. Now, I'm going to try two things on this. Maybe. I don't know if I could fit his little face. I'm going to try just to get his little face on this to see if we get a... I'm going to heat this up. Just the one side real quick. This goes much easier and quicker because it is thinner. And I'm just going to stick his little face. Hopefully, we'll see what goes in. And push. And take out. And then you can see you get that. So the thinner may be better. I don't know. We'll see when we stamp it. This is pretty cool, though. I don't even know where my thin is right this second. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. But, okay, so we have that. And now I, something I wanted to show you, I'm just going to leave that on here. If you want to take this off, like if you've, you know, stamped in and you're not really digging it, just take your heat gun and heat over it. And it goes away. If you are like me and... 
you want to make your own kind of stamps or whatever. Um, I've done these before. I'll do them again. I'm going to just heat this up one more time real quick. And I'm going to take a lid and I'm going to stick it in. Push it down hard. Stick it in. And this is this could be anything. This could be a pendant. Um, let's see if I have a pendant. I have my octopus pendant. I'm going to have to heat this. I got my snubby on. I forgot. I'm going to heat that real quick. See, it already started taking that out of there, but I don't care because it's just to show you. Push him down. Okay. Go back in here. Hopefully it's still warm. Give it a push. Okay. So really quickly, before we go into drawing our faces, I'm going to take my ink. And we will ink up this one first. You ink up whatever way you like. And I'm going to push it down. And you can see the octopus face here in our circles. So you made your own little stamp there, something extra for your mixed media piece. And this will stay like this. And you can just keep reusing it, reusing it. And if you want them to come out, you just hit it with heat, okay? Now let's use our owl. So I'm just gonna rub this around it. In foam, you know, sometimes it takes a couple prints, a couple times to put ink on it to really, um, you know, make it not soak in as much, but I love using it. And look at that. I got the owl shape. So how cool is that? And I didn't put it on again. And you can use paint. And this is the thicker, like I said. And if you want it, don't want it, the owl on there anymore, you can always just heat it out with the gun. So, pretty cool. And it looks really cool on here, too. You can just glue that on something. That looks really cool. But there's there's your stamp. Very, very cool. Very happy with it. Like I said, I might later, not now in this video, but I might later try it with the thinner, uh, the thinner um, foam and see if it works. However, I'm very happy with this. And like I said, um, you can use paint, you know, a, a, a dry brush of paint or a marker even. I don't have any of that sitting here. So let me close my ink up because you know, I'll end up with that all over me. I, I'm all full of everything already. Now let's get to drawing. So that was just a little something something I wanted to show you guys. And let's get to drawing. Okay, so for our mixed media piece. Some people um, like folk art girls, you know, like whimsical kind of girls. Some girl, like some people like more um, realistic looking girls. I'm going to draw a more realistic looking girl today. And see what you guys think. You guys can then practice whichever one you like. If you don't like, um, if you don't want to do a face, I haven't quite decided. I think I might do a folk art doll. I'm going to just stay like this for a while so it's safe focus. I think I might do a folk art doll on mine and add her a cute little dress and do a little folksy kind of thing. 
but I want to give you guys some options. So here we go. Let me move my stuff out. So you have your, your paper and we're going to, I'm just going to put this up a little bit so you guys can see a little better. Focus, focus, focus now. There you go. See, magical, magical. Okay. So I have my ruler. And we are going to make as a folk, when you do the folk art doll or whimsical doll, whatever you want to call it, um, you know that we don't do much of a nose, but a little, little boop. And I showed two ways in two different videos on how to do it. Um, this is more of a realistic face. So her face will not be round. It'll be much more of an egg shape and her nose will be different as well as her lips. Um, I don't know if I'll shade or color this one in on this video. Um, I've been asked to color the other ones in and, and whatnot. So I'll probably do that in a video coming up. So what you're going to do is we're still going to do our lines. <clears throat> And just do our lines across, you know, whatever you have around you to make, <clears throat> excuse me, my goodness, whatever you have around you to make, um, you know, your straight line, do it. If you don't have anything, wing it. You don't even have to do the, the, the straight lines and I'll show you later, but we're going to bring the nose down a bit more. And the nose is probably, I'm going to say like, one, two, probably around here. I'm going to put my line for my nose. And then my mouth is going to be pretty close to the nose. So, I mean, you want me to give you measurements on this? I sure will. That is the lines up here. You know, we're, we're going to play with that a little bit. So it's generally a, general, a little bit over half an inch um, wide. Um, make it as much as, you know, if you wanted a little bit more, a little bit less up to you, we're going to play no big deal from the bottom of the eye to where the nose is, is just past the one and a half line. It's like two lines down from the one and a half line. And these apart are about a half inch. So like maybe like a line over the half inch. So nothing, you know, nothing major. Um, we're going to do her eyes will be a little bit closer. So this is going to be the middle of the face for me. And I'm just going to do a light line down there. And again, remember, we're not going to worry too much about these. I should have to do it darker. That's all because it's hard for you to see. You know, we're gonna be, we'll are gonna play with these, the nose and the mouth when we come back. And we're gonna start our eye probably, if we do our eye over, we start our eye here. That's an inch from the line, from the middle line. And then about right here. Okay. So can you see? Now I have two, this is how I have it. I have two inches in between this. And then I'm going to do my eye over here. Now, if, now they always say do an inch in between, like, like do what you're going to do. So I won't make her eyes that big. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just erase it. And this all is in what you want. If you want her eyes to start there, do it. I'm just giving you options. I'll probably just move her eye over the, the uh, marks over 
about that much. Try to make it as even as possible. Maybe like a half an inch. Yeah, it's like a half an inch from the line and then we'll do a half an inch from the line. So that's about right. Okay. So let me get back in focus, sorry. This, like, this must be like the cheapest pen pencil ever. The eraser does not work very well. Okay, let me just draw these lines back real quick. All right, so that's kind of where we got our lines at from where our eyes will start. So they're kind of even. You're only gonna get them, I mean, some people get them perfect. I'm just showing you the basics on here. If you sit and measure perfectly and all that kind of thing, so they're, you know what I mean? Be my guest. You're free to do whatever you want. So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna do her eye. And we're gonna start you can kind of bring this down all the way if you want. So you kind of have an idea of where you're starting. Start in your middle line and do your, you know, you do your eye. And we're going to do our eye over here. Now you can measure now if you want and see, you know, gee, are they the same? Um, this is about one and yeah, they're about basically the same. So we have our line and we're going to do our same line under here. Again, you can do different ways. People do the straight line underneath. I should have brought my one picture in where I did the sleep and eye girl. Some do that and then some do like I do where I just start the corner and then just bring it up. So you swoop down once you get to the middle, start at the corner, swoop down when you get to the middle and then swoop it up. Okay, don't worry if they're not exactly looking the same. If you notice right off the bat and you wanna fix it then, be my guest. But you're just making, we're making more almond shape eyes, okay? And then this is where we're going to go in with the eye. So I like to do my, just like the folk art doll, I like to do my eyelids where I'm cutting in. I'm going to erase this middle line. And then I'm going to go in and do my eyeball. Now your eyeball can touch the you know, you could take your eyeball down and touch it and make your circle. Or it doesn't have to, it's up to you. I gotta really hunt for my tool that I love. You guys will all run out and get it because it helps draw so much. But that's our general eyes for right at this moment. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about the eye, eyelashes and the, um, I mean, eyebrows and all that right this second. Let's go to the nose because basically these are the eyes from prior. Um, again, so many different ways you can draw eyes. This is my way. You choose. Um, maybe I'll do a video on just eyes uh, later on so you guys can see. So we're going to go down here, and here's our middle line, remember. Let me just darken it. Okay, so you see where our middle line is. This is how I do it. I kind of make a circle. I'm going to do it dark. And then I go around in a circle and kind of around. Now I'm doing this much darker. When you do it, do it a little bit lighter because we're going to shade and all that. But that's what I do. And then under these little things are kind of like your nostrils. So I just put a little, so I know. So she has her nostrils. And then from this, I will put kind of like um, parentheses.
Now, some people will have the noses go like like if we're doing the nose, let's say we have our eyes and I'm just playing. Okay, so some people will have their nose and then their nostrils will be right here. And then they'll take their, they'll like connect it. So if you want to connect it, I'll show you this. Connect it. Depends on what you like. You know, and if, if you know, you don't want them to go in that much, have them go, because what they're going to end up doing is they're going to end up forming what you bring in as the bridge of your nose. So you do it whatever way you want to do it, but that's, like I said, that right there is a different way that you can do the nose. So that's something to think about when you're doing it. And now we're going to go on to our lips. And our lips are kind of basically the same. It's like an elongated. I always like to do this. It's like a U. And it doesn't have to be that deep. That's kind of deep. I'm just trying to do it so I can get it on here for you. And then just make your, like an M. And we'll go back and fix. But remember, nothing's perfect. But you do your M. And then I put a little, just a little there to represent the middle of your mouth. You know, like, the, like when you close your mouth, you have that little thing there. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to bring this down and I'm going to connect it to that. And then draw out and connect to that. So we have our top lip. And then your bottom lip's not as full as you, I mean, as wide as your top lip. And we have so far our face. Now, we need our pupils and our eyes, so you'll just go in and do, do you want her pupils to be there so she's looking, um, you know, looking up or whatever? I like, I like putting my pupils in the middle. And you might not want them that big. We'll deal with. I'm just trying to show you on here. You know, if we want them smaller or whatever. But can you see the difference between this and the um, whimsy face? Now, let's say you do want. I'm trying to give you guys options so you know like when you're doing, and you can draw a bunch. If you want, you got your eye, with our eyes. If you want her to have her pupils up here, have your pupils up here. So it all depends on the look that you're looking for. Now we're going to go to the nose. So I'm going to go and I'm going, well, first I'm going to erase my lines now. I know I'm not very good at teaching these. Uh. Because I draw instead, like it depends on my mood. So I draw in different ways depending on my mood. So, like when I start out, I'm like, oh, you know, 
And then I'm like, no, there's, this is easier to teach them. <laughs> now my graphite obviously has um, smeared some, I'm not going to worry about it. Because we go over, I'll go over everything so you see. Okay, so you see where we're at so far? Now we'll go in with, what pencil was I using? See, that's the kind of things that happen to me. Okay. So I'm going to go back and just do the eye out. Right, and then that's her iris, her pupil. We're going to do it here. We're going to give it back here. We're going to give it up there. Okay, so we have our eyes. We have our, our nose, and you can play with that middle part if you don't want it as deep as I made it. That um, little boopy right there that I made on her nose, the little U, make it as wide or as small as you want, and it really doesn't matter. It's just the tip of the nose. Everybody's different. Everybody looks different. Not a big deal. So we have our nostrils in. And now I'm going to take, this is kind of a line I'm going to keep because this is where it will be lighter when we color it, paint it, whatever we're going to do with it. Because it's like the bright, the lighter part of the face. But from the nose part right here, it goes in and you're going to bring it up as you can see like that. You see how I did? Now I'm going to erase these because these might confuse you. This is like the ball of her nose. I don't ever really put the ball on her nose. Like some people will draw with it on there. I don't. But that's kind of like where the ball of the nose is or where like the highlights and everything are. But I'll put that in just for right now but so you see how we go we just kind of and this goes in a little bit more if you want it you just kind of bring it up real easy and her eyebrows are going to go kind of like right there And we're just using pencil. If you were using, if you were going along and, and painting or using, um, you know, paint or color pencils or watercolor pencils, or whatever, I would uh, wait and do the eyebrows last because they'll end up being the darkest, and you don't know what color you want to have. Maybe till you're done because things do change. Okay. So we have our face. I'm going to erase this little ball because it drives me crazy. And that'll be, I'll, we'll take that into consideration when I do paint, when I do color these or paint them. And her face is more, going to be more of a oval shape. So I want to kind of start down here. And this is not going to be representative, uh, represented, how do I say that? I go around a couple times till I get, I know it sounds silly, till I get that chin the way I want it. Because you, you know, the chin, it's like a, you, you want that chin to be an even way around the face. So if I do that, let me bring it back now so you can see a little bit. You see I do those, li those lines and I don't need these lines. And it just helps me clear up in my head. How I want that face shape to be and get closer to it. And even if I erase the line, my guideline that I really liked, I can just go back over it because I, you know, a pencil. And it depends. You can put the bottom of her face, like her chin area, you could put it closer 
up to her lips if you want or not. And then we're just going to go down and connect it. And the same here. Oh, start up here. It's easier. And you see how, I know that sounds silly, but if you go around like that, you'll get a much better um, face shape. Just because you keep going around and as you go around, like I can see over here, like this part of her head, it's not going to matter because I'm going to have hair on her. But like you, you can just see better. But I want to bring her face in a little bit more like that. But you just see better like where you're, you know, you're looking at. Cause you'll start going around and you'll, and you'll see like, Oh no, that's too far. And you'll start bringing yourself and bringing yourself. So, so far that's kind of where we're at. And then you would go in and we would do hair. So we're going to add her neck. And then you decide what kind of hair you, you want to give her. I'll just probably, I'm I, I, I would have to do different hairstyles. I'm just going to give her like a part. She can have those cute short bangs. My, my, my sister, my daughter has those cute short bangs. I love them. Look so good on her. I can never have them. They'd think it was hunting season and shoot me. I would look like some sort of weird animal, but you take it and then you just kind of and you want to go with the shape of the face to make your hair, because, you know, your hair goes and lays on your neck when it's down. And then do the same on this side. It kind of looks like a bathing cap right now, but you'll see. Now you can erase the top of that head that you drew because it's just kind of a guide. And then you go and start and add your hair. You know, this would be just what she has is one length hair. I'm not really going to play too much with the hair. Because it gets into a whole other thing. You know, if you don't want her to have a part, don't give her a part. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, and then we go into shading, which... You know, if, you know, we were going to shade, you know, we'd get our colored pencils and, and we'd shade her face and her eyes and give her all that kind of stuff. Um, I do curly hair too, where it's just, but you know, I end up erasing this when I go to do my things. And you can use molding paste in the hair. I love doing that. I've done that a million times. And we'll get to all that when we go to put whatever we're going to put on our, on our mixed media piece. Now, if you look at her and you say, you know, maybe the face, maybe you think the nose is too for you. Maybe this, the nose is too long for you. Maybe you want it to be a little bit shorter. Then all you do is go in and erase, and it happens. Know that if you move the nose, you're going to have to move the mouth. Not a big deal. But we can move the nose up here, and I can just kind of eye where that middle was and do the little hook. Not a big deal. You, you, like I said, you might look at. I've done this a million times, where I've looked at. And thought, the nose is a little long for me. And because everything's in pencil, or I like using mechanical pencil, is my favorite. But because everything's in pencil, it's so doable. And then I'm going to show you the way it looks different. And then I'll go up. 
Let me do my bridge of my nose. Now, if you want her nostrils to be bigger, you sure can. Now, you know, we're going to have to probably move the lips up. But some people's faces are like that. Not ours today. So... I'm just showing you a different kind of thing. We know where our line is. So actually her lip is kind of going to go where I think it's so fun to make different kind of looks. I just go in like this and do my line. And then if it's not even with your little dip, I just erase it and make it over a little bit more. It's all fun. And then you just take it and you bring down and you take it and you bring down and you erase. And look how different the face looks. It just looks different. Now, I, I think she needs a wider nose myself. See, this is why I don't teach because I try to show too many things. I'm like, you know what? If you don't like doing it like that, do it like this. But I might make her nose a little wider. This is why I sit for hours and draw it because I just keep going. Like I wouldn't erase it. I would just go to the next page and do it. And then I say, you know what? I think her chin's a little too down too far. Some people look like that. I think that's perfectly fine. But for me in this drawing, I don't want it that way. So I'm going to kind of start up here in the middle and bring her face up. Now we know that's not really good even. That'll be a little better. And then we'll add her neck. So it goes up there. We'll add some more hair. And you have a whole new look. So it's all in what you like. And like I said, then we'd go in and we'd start, uh, oh gosh, excuse me. I don't even know where the heck that came from. We'd start shading. We'd start um, using our colored pencils and shading or our paint, um, deciding the eye colors that we want, kind of um, making one side a little bit, you know, you can even put some hair on her face and down on her neck if you want. You know what I mean? And we can really start the hair, don't, pay mind to the hairstyle because it's just me playing around what I end up doing and I'll do it on this one since I will be taking this out and putting it on a paper somewhere this is what I do so you see what we did and I showed you two ways sit and play but this is what I do before I go to start painting or do whatever I erase all her hair off and that's if I do the hair. Um, I do the hair a lot because it just gives me an idea of like her eyes and her facial structure and how far apart I want things. And if I'm liking what I got going on, you know, it's not that big a deal. You don't have to draw hair if you don't want to. It's just for me, it works better. But let me just, so we're back to our, just our face. And then I'll just go back in with my pencil and very lightly go over. Doesn't have to be perfect. And go over my uh, drawing. Now, what I also do which is neither here or there right now, but 
What I also do is I also erase my whole face when I go into color or paint it. You still get to see what's in there, but um, you still get to see, you know, I just, you still see a faint thing of what you drew, but, uh, you know, I like doing that. That's just how I like to do it. Unless I'm doing it more of a, you know, graphite thing, but with my colored pencils and all, I'll do that. And that's basically more of a realistic face. Like if we went with our paints or our colored pencils right now, we'd be shading this in. And I'd probably pick this side of the face to shade. We'd put our lips in, you know, all that kind of fun stuff. Here's her neck. And then you can even do like if I'm, if I was going to put this on my painting, I just give her like, you know, uh, shoulders. And then I'd cut her out. I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd probably lay in everything of what I want to start with. Um, might even put clear gesso over her, which is another option for you if you want to leave your graphite lines down. Um, like I said, I just erase them off. I'm not worried about it. And, um, and then you kind of go to town and like to make her more, um, less of a whimsy, like I said, we're going to add, you know, in like, like this all gets shaded real lightly and you know what I mean? And it just, it's, it's, you know, there's a lot you can really do to make her look much more realistic, you know, her eyebrows, her eyes, um, you know, you can put in her, you know, some eyelashes if you want. Yeah, we could play around so much. If you want her lips bigger, if, you know, you want them smaller for whatever, go for it. But this is basically what I want you guys to practice or practice the other one. These are so much fun. And like I said, that's that's the basic. The the difference is, is her face is more of an egg shape. And you can, you know, you can play around with the face shape as much as you want. To make it, you know, skinnier if you want it. Like over here, I might make it a bit skinnier. There's nothing wrong. Get your own style. I'm teaching you the basics and then it's for you guys to go and play around and practice and say, Hey, you know, but I mean, you see how it changes the face. Um, and like I said, what's really going to make it more, how do you say, not, not, not so much whimsy, but a little bit more realistic is when we go in with shading and all, because a whimsy face is really like a, a flat color of flesh and all that kind of stuff, which you can also shade in and do all that too. But, um, you know, it's a lot, it, it's a lot, uh, less detailed, so to say. So that's that. And her lips look a little like, you know, I might not have made them as straight as they could have been on that bottom line. So I can just take my ruler right there and just bring it up. You know, and there's just ways you just go in and play around. So when we color that, we know. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something from it. It just takes you sitting down take and, and just continuing page after page after page. So that's it. I'm going to be teaching um, within the next couple of days. I'm going to have the video up of a few ways to make different art journals. Um, so you guys can sit and play. These are so fun to sit and do in the, um, when you're in bed or just sitting around playing. Like I said, I have books and books and books full of all kinds of different faces. And it's hard to sit here, like I said, in 40 minutes and kind of draw a face for you. But, um, you know, th this is the general rule. 
some people, like I said, they don't like to, they don't do the lines and all. They don't have to. I think, hey, great for you. I have to. So that's about it. And like I said, how much fun, you know, and we got, we get to get the pupils and you make them black and do some fun colors, you know, do a fun color for the eye. I usually always do green eyes. Don't know. I, I guess because my daughter has green eyes. She has like hazel eyes. So I always do them. But, um, and I mean, really, that's how simple. So I'm sure you guys can practice this. Try this. Try the whimsy one. See which one you like better. And like I said, hairstyles, I'll have to do a video on just hairstyles and different kind of eyes and like just give you like a overlay of like okay here's like a few different types of eyes you can do here's a few different kind of lips you can do here's a few different hairstyles that you can do that you can sit and practice and, and try so if this was any help please give me give me a thumbs up if you came across me um please sub i'm ha i have contests all the time and i love to teach uh, all kinds of different things and if you have any questions just leave them for me and as always tag me with what you do and I hope you guys found this informative and helps you get on your way to drawing. Be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. You know, I live by that. I try my best to be the best at that. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks, guys.